And this is allegorically speaking, for these women are two covenants, one proceeding from Mount Sinai, bearing children who are to be slaves. She is Hagar. Now, this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem. He's saying that the present Jerusalem, which is hankering after salvation through their own efforts, seeking to establish their own righteousness, he's aligning Jerusalem at his time, the, the physical Jerusalem, the, the nation as such that opposes Christ, he's identifying with Hagar. They are children of, of the slave woman. They are in bondage. This all corresponds to Mount Sinai in Arabia. It says she is in slavery with her children, but the Jerusalem above is free. She is our mother, for it is written, Rejoice, barren woman who does not bear. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the desolate than the one who has a husband. And you, brethren, like Isaac, are children of promise. Just like Paul, in his unconverted state, just like Paul, according to the flesh, as a natural man, unconverted, unregenerated, seeking to establish his own righteousness— was zealous for that false gospel and persecuted the church of God. This is characteristic of all those who are seeking to establish their own righteousness. They cannot tolerate, they cannot abide hearing this gospel. It strikes at their pride. Paul says, he who was born, he's talking about Ishmael, according to the flesh, persecuted him who was born according to the Spirit, referring to Isaac. But notice the reason Paul's saying this. He says, as at that time, he who was born according to the flesh persecuted him who was born according to the Spirit, so it is now also. What Paul was doing prior to his conversion showed him to be of the flesh, showed him to be in bondage, showed him to be like Ishmael. However, having been converted and having turned to Christ in faith, no longer seeking to establish his own righteousness, now having the Spirit and seeking to bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Paul is no longer on the end of dishing things out, but on the receiving end. Right? It's, it should be no surprise that those people who believe a false gospel want to speak so intemperately and uh, are so vicious in their opposition to those who proclaim this gospel. 